how do I improve my shotgun aim? All you have to do is put your crosshair on the enemy and pull the trigger. And the easiest way to do that is by letting the enemy fall into your crosshair or letting your crosshair fall into the enemy, vice versa. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm putting my crosshair to the right of them and then I'm just letting it cross them as I slide and pulling the trigger. What's going on, everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here. And today I'm gonna show you how to land massive damage with a shotgun. You are going to stop whiffing your shots and you're going to win more close range engagements, I promise you. Now, if you find this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is load up a map called Aim Plus Mechanics made by Xerix60. The island code is on screen here. All right, really quick before we get a million questions about this, the bubble that you see on my screen right now is actually an eye tracker. I'm using a Toby 5 eye tracker. I have partnered with Toby. Basically, this is probably gonna be in all my future videos, just so you can see where I'm looking on screen. I think it can be very helpful for you guys to see where I'm looking on screen during fights and that sort of thing. So I hope that answers your question. Now we're in this aim plus mechanics map. The first thing you want to do is run over here and grab a shotgun. I'm going to grab an infiltrator pump. You can grab whatever the current season shotguns are or whatever. You can grab a combat SMG as well, just in case you want to practice uh, weapon swapping. And then the next thing you want to do is go into the 1v1 aim duel with bot right here. All right, now we're in this room with this jumping bot, right? He jumps around, he has 400 HP. So that's a good chance for you to basically get your aim down and hit good solid shots. You have basically four chances to hit him for over 100. It's gonna be really good practice. Now let's just quickly talk about the way that most people use a shotgun, at least most people that I see using a shotgun. Basically they get in these engagements and for one, they're very stressed out most of the time because they're in this close range engagement and they're trying to land as many shots as they can, as fast as they can. And they're just doing this, right? They're pulling the trigger and they're just, uh, uh, right, and there's like a visible anxiety on their face, right? And it's a thing, it's a, a very common thing. And you know, at one point, I'm sure I had that as well when I was first starting off in first person shooters. But the way to really land good shotgun damage, which is incredibly important in close range fights. The reason that most people lose close range engagements is because they hit people for 40 damage with their shotgun, right? They, they, they whiff a little bit, and they hit like a, a foot or a, a leg or a side, you know, something like that. They're hitting 40 damage because they're not focusing in and landing a good shot. So I'm gonna help you out today and show you exactly how to do that consistently. Now, the number one tip I can give you in any fight in Fortnite is to focus on the enemy. A lot of people will get shot, right? And they'll have all these particle effects in their face and they won't be able to see the enemy very well. And it's very common, right? Like even I have a hard time seeing enemies when they're shooting you and your screen is shaking and there's all this stuff going on in your screen, it's hard to like really focus on the enemy. And a lot of times you'll see this, right? You can see my eye tracker right now. A lot of people will commit to lazy aim and they'll be like, ah, you know, they're just kind of like, they're not really focusing on the enemy. You can see where my eyes are, right? I'm not really focused on the enemy. I'm just kind of focused on the enemy's uh, general location. And that is so, so common. You would not believe it. It's crazy. And that is the main factor in landing any good shot in any video game, right? Is focusing on the enemy. You're not looking at your reticle as much as you are looking at the enemy, right? You're keeping your eye on the enemy. Watch my eyes here. You can see my eye tracker, right? And I am just focused on this dude. I'm trying to look at like basically his shoulder, chest. And when he moves around quick and there's stuff on my screen, I can lose track of him a little bit. Sometimes it happens, you know? A really good thing to do before even getting into any of this practice is actually watch my eye warm up video because that's gonna really help you focus on your enemy, right? It's gonna teach you how to track with your eyes. You'll realize it's actually very hard to follow a target on your screen for extended periods of time, especially when it's moving quick. So you do that and that's gonna warm up your eyes and strengthen your eyes so that you can really do that in a game. So when you're really focused on the enemy's body, right? When you're tracking them with your eyes, it is very difficult to actually miss shots. You're actually gonna end up hitting way more shots than you'd expect. Your hand-eye coordination is probably very good, a lot better than you expect. So yeah, in most cases, it's just a focus issue. So my first step is focus in on the enemy and that's really going to help you land good shots. Okay, now the second tip that is just fundamental to landing good shots with the shotgun as well is using your left stick to strafe aim, right? On a controller or even a mouse, your right stick is a lot more sensitive, right? Like it'll throw your aim in vertical ways and if the enemy is just on a horizontal plane and you start aiming 
vertically and like kind of to their left and right up and down it makes it very hard to hit consistent shots if you're doing right stick aiming like this right so in most cases on mouse and keyboard or controller it is very 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 powerful to do left stick aiming right i'm just making very minor adjustments with that right stick and pulling the trigger when it crosses them okay so left stick aiming is incredibly important no matter what kind of device you're on most of your aiming should be done on the left stick or at least like maybe 60 percent of it 70 percent of it and then you make minor adjustments with the right stick or your mouse right all right now let's talk about landing good damage while moving you know sliding jumping falling out of the air shock waving that sort of thing it's it happens all the time you want to be a very hard target to hit and if you watch my advanced combat video you know what i'm talking about if you have not watched my advanced combat movement video go ahead and check that out after this video i highly recommend it it's going to show you what i'm talking about you want to be a hard target for your enemy to hit and I'm going to show you how to land good damage while doing that. And now we're going to go into this area called the shotgun aim with movement mode 360. A lot of people will come into this room and they'll actually start shooting these targets and use this as their shotgun aim warm up. It's not good. Don't do this. It doesn't matter how fast you shoot. If you miss and just hit like the arm of one of these targets, it still counts as a hit, right? And that is exactly what we don't want to be doing. That is instilling bad habits if we're hitting for 30 damage and we think it's good, right? We don't want to do that. Yeah, it'd be great if you're hitting perfect shots on all these targets right in the center. Then that's good practice, but a lot of people will not do that. They'll just aim as fast as they can they'll start trying to hit a target anywhere and this is all counting right that's that's not good so instead i go to 360 when i'm doing any of my practice and if you saw my shotgun aim training video you'll know that i do this i go in a clockwise uh a clockwise and counterclockwise movement and i practice my jump shots basically so that it's kind of harder to hit these guys uh it's just better practice. But now we're talking about movement, right? Let's just talk about movement and hitting shots while you're moving. The key to doing that is to put your reticle in a place where when you move, it's going to fall into the enemy, whether that's dropping down. If I'm going to be dropping off this uh, ledge, say I'm like shockwaving through the air. Now, I don't have shockwaves in here, so I can't really give a great example of what I'm talking about. But basically, you're going to aim above your enemy when you're falling through the sky so that you while you're falling down, your crosshair is going to come over the enemy and you're just going to pull the trigger like this, right? When it comes down over them, boom. Same thing with jumping. When you're jumping into the air, you're letting your crosshair fall over them. Now, if you're going laterally, left and right, when you're sliding around like this, right? What I see a lot of people trying to do when they're sliding around is they try to hit these flick shots. They try to slide and boom, slide and boom, right? And they will miss probably 60, 70% of their shots trying to do that stuff, right? That is not the way to hit a shot when you're moving quick. Don't do that. What you want to do instead, if this guy's over to the right of me, right? I want to put my reticle to the right as I'm sliding and then move forward and let that reticle cross him as I slide, right? Like that, boom. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm putting my crosshair to the right of them and then I'm just letting it cross them as I slide and pulling the trigger. I'm not whipping it around. I'm not trying to hit some crazy flick shot. I'm just pulling the trigger as soon as it crosses them. And it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard to do it in this area right there's like not a lot of runway there's this tiny little thing i'm sliding on but it still kind of shows you what i'm talking about i'm not flicking around i'm just letting it cross over them and then i'm pulling the trigger and i'm hitting for over 100 every time so that is how you hit moving shots and it goes the same when you're jumping through the air you jump you're aiming to the right and you let your crosshair fall to the left over the enemy uh, you know, and that's the opposite if you're jumping to the right. Put your crosshair to the left. Let it fall over the enemy. Jumping to the left. Put the crosshair to the right. Let it fall over the enemy. Boom. That is how you hit consistently large shotgun shots in these fights. Especially when a player is being predictable and kind of staying in one area, right? You can just line up that shot super nice and easy. And if you are moving around and moving all quick, right? You do not have to worry too much about rushing these shots because most of the time your enemy is going to have a hard time hitting you and they're probably going to hit you for like, you know, 30 or 40 damage instead of the 100 that they're hoping for. So instead of rushing your shot, all you got to do is just take the time to let it line up, fall over the enemy and pull the trigger. So that is what I recommend for moving quick and hitting shots. Make your reticle fall into the enemy. Do all the work with your left stick or your movement. Again, do minor movements with your right stick or your mouse.
Now, the last thing I'll talk about is just staying generally calm in fights, right? And that is really hard to train, really hard to teach. I cannot just tell you to stay calm and expect you to stay calm in a 1v1 situation for the end of the game, right? So you are always going to be nervous. But if you can get into more fights and if you can practice breathing through those fights, staying calm and just kind of like reminding yourself the entire time it's just a game. All I have to do is land the shot. Just hit your target, hit your enemy, and we're chilling, you know. Breathing before the fight is really going to help you. If you just take a big, deep breath, calm yourself down. Big, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Is really going to help you stay calm in these fights, especially as you're going into a fight. If you do a deep breath before the fight, it's going to calm you down so you're not as stressed. A lot of times you'll see people, I bet if I watched 75% of you playing on the couch, you'd probably be doing this. Right, they're not, you're not breathing. And if you're holding your breath like that, for one, you're not getting oxygen to your brain. And two, you're just really stressed, right? You just need to continue to breathe. And the way that you practice this in close range combat and just get used to close range combat is by using creative maps like Red vs. Blue Rumble, or even something like this. Like you can just pretend these are real players. Just breathe really deep the whole time that you're fighting these guys. Just like practice your breathing. Staying calm. And again, these guys are not going to be hitting you hard. This is not a battle royale, so you're not going to be stressed. What you can do instead is go into a mode like Red vs. Blue, which has real players. So this map right here, Red vs. Blue Rumble, is really good for practicing uh, close range fights. Just getting comfortable in combat so that you're not stressed out all the time when you're in close range combat. And make sure you're practicing your breathing while you're fighting. All right, so we are loaded into Red vs. Blue here. And I will note that a lot of times you'll run into a Red vs. Blue lobby and you'll have the enemy team and they might be just teaming up doing like 3v1s and 4v1s all that kind of stuff if that's happening and your team is not helping you out you basically just get stampeded every time go ahead and back out just return to lobby and then search again and you'll find another lobby and you want to find a lobby where people are not teaming up and they're not using crazy weapons like rocket launchers and grenade launchers and like all these crazy broken stuff right you want a lobby that's just kind of like fairly competitive decent players in it but they're not teaming up right everyone's there to kind of like get better. So that's a general note in red versus blue, you can run into some pretty bad lobbies. And if that's the case, just go ahead back out and search again. So once you get into this mode, you want to pick up current season weapons. You always want to practice with current season weapons. Don't be the guy that's using like broken mythics and broken stuff that's just not in the game. Be using current season weapons. I usually grab just a random SMG and a current shotgun. So I'll usually use the infiltrator pump. Now what we're doing is we're just going to practice everything we talked about, right? Letting our crosshair fall over the enemy. Pulling the trigger when the crosshair is over the enemy, putting it to the left or right of them or whatever when we're jumping around and just letting it fall over them, making minor adjustments with a right stick, staying calm, breathing through fights, and really putting our eyes on the enemy and focusing, right? It's like the most important part about all this. And then also good crosshair. And look how I'm aiming low and I jump and it goes into this player, right? I'm not trying to jump and then pull my reticle down and trying to hit them, right? If you have an enemy at this window, you would have your crosshair here and then jump and make a minor adjustment to pull that trigger instead of going like this where you're jumping and then having to pull down, right? You don't want to be doing that. You want to be letting your crosshair come up to them, make a very small adjustment. So yeah, this map is great for practicing that close range combat. Just getting really comfortable in these fights. And it has uh, healing when you kill someone, so you'll get health back. I think you get 100 health back every time you kill someone. And uh, yeah, just practice fights, practice breathing, practice lining up those shots. Okay, and so this is kind of a lobby that I was talking about. See how there's four guys right here? They're all just running together, and they're just trying to farm kills together. This is not the type of lobby you want to be in. Uh, me, myself, I could probably handle a lobby like this if I use good movement and split these guys up but you don't really want to be like in a case where you're just always getting 4v1 right and also these guys are going for cheats so this guy's going to have 400 hp now uh that will happen every once in a while i think it lasts for three minutes um there's a 400 hp glitch that happens it's five players can use it so that's very annoying um okay so when we're sliding right we're pulling we're letting it cross their body like that 
When we're jumping, we're letting it cross their body like that. And just pulling the trigger when it crosses their body. And then we're just staying calm. We don't have to rush shots, right? We want to track the enemy with their eyes and hit a good shot. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like. It really, really helps my channel out. And if you have not seen my other content, I really encourage you to check out my must-watch playlist for Zero Build. I promise you it's going to help you improve your Zero Build gameplay. And if you're not subscribed and you watch any of those videos, I'm sure you're going to want to subscribe. Oh, and last thing I'll mention is if you want to take your Zero Build gameplay a step further, right? You want to get better at the game. You want to speed up your improvement process. Check out my Shinobi Clan memberships, the master level memberships membership comes with training two to three days a week with myself and other like-minded individuals who really want to improve their zero build gameplay and we do all sorts of stuff we do trainings we do scrimmages two to three days a week so that is really going to help you out all right guys thanks so much for watching have yourself a great day shinobi out